old cars and so yeah so we're going to be doing it splitting it into three parts we're going to be doing this one right here which is Franz Ferdinand's the car Franz Ferdinand was shot in this one which is just a standard quite upper class family car from the 1912s and this one which is a standard industrial type canvas delivery truck which will be which would be used in round about World War One. All of them would have probably gone into service during World War One just to be transport, uh, transported in goods and offices and things like that. Uh, so without further ado, ado, let's get on to car number one. So today, guys, uh, we're going to get started with this old car, uh, 1900s sort of car, early turn of the century. Uh, this is based off of uh, the car that's Franz Ferdinand was shot in during which sparked the cause of World War One so to get started you'll need uh, the new lightning rod dark oak fence or an oak trapdoor if you're playing in a server and you don't have the lighting rod yet just use uh, dark oak fences like that but that's only if you don't but it does look better like this so if we get the axles like that and the oak trapdoors are here for the wheel and then we get some dark oak fences to for the uh, is it called a bumper? I am not 100% sure I'm not the biggest car expert and then four blocks on from that we'll place down another one and we're just basically going to copy the exact same thing from what we did there and here we're going to get some polished black zone brick stairs oh wait and some dark oak trap doors and what we do is just put it down the middle that's where we're going to our passenger's going to sit right here Franz Ferdinand would be sitting here at the time you'd get shot which isn't uh, the best thing uh, just like that because the uh, the car curves up to come into the arch uh, over the um, car and then we just do it on the exact same side most of the car I'm pretty sure we're just copying each side which is f fairly explanatory otherwise it would be a bit odd and right at the back just put dark oak fence trap tr uh, fence gate sorry I'm losing my words and a black stone brick slab and we should be alright next all, next up let's get the doors and the walls of the car so just put three um, deep slate brick walls down like that over the black stone bricks and then for the arch of the wheels we just do it like that and like that Next up, just get some smooth stone, just place it right there, and with the, get a snowball and a glow item frame, which is, again, if you don't have it yet, just use um, a normal item frame, and it's the same with these, if you don't have these, just use uh, stone bricks, is it stone bricks? Yeah, Th this thing but the wall version, and yeah, and then basically, put it like that for the back wheel arch and then we'll put uh, upside down blackstone brick stairs right there and just get some brick walls put it like that for the back lights or the head back headlights I don't know back lights so it's, I'll just call it that uh, just get some a block of redstone and put it in a normal item frame just like that and then hang on um just losing my words again there uh let's get some blo a block of netherite just place it like down like that and like that everyone should have the block of netherite by now and oh the blocks has just joined the game now we'll get some deep slate tile stairs and just place it like so that will be for the where the steering wheel is and our passengers and our driver will just sit there a bit squished but 
purely aesthetic. I don't think anyone's going to be doing animations in this unless they are. And I don't th actually think there is a headlight, not a headlight, a wind mirror for this car, but it looks better by placing a conduit there. Just put any block there. It doesn't. It do really doesn't matter at all. And j just so you can place the conduit over air. And then get some light grey stained glass pane or any stained glass plane, pane bleh, um, that will fit your description or what you what you want. I personally would think the light grey stained glass pane would be the best option. And then just get a daylight sensor, turn it off so you can put the dark oak trap door just like that. If you do, if you switch it to night, it'll probably it'll just do that, but. Again, you can if you don't want it there because you want if you switch it to night, then just put either a trapdoor or another uh, slab of your choice. Next up, uh, just put three daylight sensors that sensors there. You don't have to turn it off because there's no trapdoor going there, and just get a dark prismarine slab and just place it like so. Next up, just tiny bit of decoration just put it there and to cover up the wheel arches and make it a bit more sturdy of a design just put a dark oak um, sign on the back on the back wheel arches and that's car one done so there'll be car two and then truck one coming up next so this has got a more of like a wealthy family design of the car please just hairs you there trying to do something and I've no idea what and basically once again we do the exact same uh, thing with the wheels the same axle design and there's the same with the back four blocks in between and yeah like this so this was based off of a car from Round about yeah from early 1900s once again, but it was um, uh, what the hell um, yes uh, I no idea what happened there but uh, basically oh well, this car would have been uh, like 1912 sort of time and they used I this was based off of a taxi from that was used in the Battle of Le Mans, I think, in World War One, And, yeah, so it basically fits in a time period if you're doing it around 1900s uh, sort of thing. And, like, world, German, French, American, it doesn't really matter. They're all, they all did sort of the same design of cars at that point onwards. All right, so... I'm thinking that HSG is putting a, me on a fishing rod, which is a bit odd, and flinging me halfway across the world. Which, well, not halfway across the world, but uh, he's getting quite in the way here, so it's a bit uh, annoying. So just follow what I'm doing, and you should be fine, and just put the the back wheel arches, put an upside down stair, ju just like that. Once again, don't know what happened there. Okay, j just stop now, for now, um, and yeah, so just put it like like so, and then for the yeah, I think we've got everything I need. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, th that's quite annoying. Um, well, let's let's get the actual main body bodywork frame of the car of where people are going to be sitting. So it's going to be an orange colour. You can do what any, any colour you want. It's all up to you. Um, so let's put stripped acacia log like that. So that's where the that's really annoying. Um, but let's just keep it like that for now. Okay. So if we have this. That's where the steering wheel is, and let's actually get the steering wheel. Oh, it's a, some cars had a steering stick. 
them, which is quite odd. But when you think about it, with cars today, it's, they've got a steering wheel. But but during th those times, some cars had actual sticks that you used, which is quite odd. But is what happened. So let's get the conduit again. Again, it's this. It's just the same same headlight design. It's essentially the same car, just in a bit of a weird up way. Just yeah. So for the back, just put it like that. That's where this is where people would put their luggage and stuff. It's just the boot of the car. Uh, let's put it like that. And I've forgotten to put on the design back headlights. Just put or the back lights. Just do the same thing once again, and then we get polished blackstone says and put it th like that. And I've no idea why I put it there. A crimson sign, which is a bit odd, but let's just do that anyway because that's what I did. So, yeah. And Hayes she's just eating cakes now, which is something much more uh, appreciative uh, to what he was doing, which was quite weird. All right, let's get some birch trap doors and do it like that. Yeah. And again, for the headlights, it's this. It's the same. It's the same headlight design. Um. You, for old cars like this, like really old cars, you've the only headlights designs possibly that and milk, because you can sort of see an old headlight there, but it doesn't. It's not really effective. Um, but so that's like the main body work of the frame, and you could just well, you technically could just keep it like that, like well, with the um, windscreen and that filled in but that that will be to do with the next part which is just the um overhead canvas topping on the car um so let's get the daylight sensor and some dark oak trap doors and a lighting rod and the nether brick fence just put it like that which is where the steering wheel is in line with that lightning rod which i haven't seen many people use these yet i love them to pieces so and i've don't know why they just sort of they really work well with that it makes them it they look like they're holding up something because of the knobbly bit at the end uh and if you want to just put another crimson stair like that which is not why i did there but it's what i'm gonna do here and then put another dark daylight sensor there and then do get your black stone stairs upside down put them like so and a daylight sensor there and that's so as we can see is looks quite nice and it I guess it looks uh, oldish so then we just put the blackstone stairs there as well for the driving seat it's a guy just sitting there going across 1940 uh, 1900s Germany which is which this which is what this town is based off of with the nice German architecture um, which is my favourite type of architecture uh, I can't pronounce the word but it's like Greenzeit architecture or something like that it's it's odd uh, so just put some dark oak trap doors like that and because we're making it look like it's curving just okay we'll keep that cake there even though that's not part of the build um, just you'll have to crouch for that one um, because to place them next to each other, uh, which will be, yeah. Oh, great. He's doing that again. Uh, let's just continue doing this, and right there. So, we've got a nice canvas topping now, and that is, that is the, well, should be the end of part two of the part three parts of this video and i'll see you in the next truck tutorial and welcome back for the truck and this truck is based off of a i can't remember the make but it's from a it's a british truck from 1912 and this would have gone into service during world war one because i'm pretty sure the united kingdom made it mandatory to sign up if you had a a motor car or motor truck that you would sign it up for the 
military during World War One, and that might be the same in other countries, but I know there was some law like that uh, with it with like cars in the United Kingdom at the time. That could have I'm pretty sure it was France as well because during the Battle of Le Mans or Le Mans, there was a massive taxi showdown, and that's quite uh, interesting to find out about so uh, let's get started off with the build so once again it is just the it's the same oh, it's three in between the wheels as always um, it's ba it, yeah it's the same axle design it, it's I really like it actually it remind it really reminds me of old vehicles that act that nice little axle design and just for the barrier, put some two skeleton skulls on there, or skeleton heads, and then a chain in between. And then what we do is get a stone slab and just do it up three blocks, not the entire way. And then so one, two, three, four, five, six on the sixth block, oh, place a another trap door. And so it's not the same width as all the other vehicles, but it's it's only one block, no, two blocks, is it? No, one block difference in the width, uh, the length, sorry, between the two wheel axles. So now we get some dark oak trap doors. Just place them like that. You're gonna have to be crouching to place these, as many of you shall know, and I'm pretty sure most of you shall know. Then just get some smooth stone, just place them like so, and on the other side, again, like so. And Hastu's there, eating his cake, and you might have to listen to the constant yum yum, or the grr grr, as Minecraft has it. Um, so then, this is the grill, and then we'll get some iron bars, just like that. The wheel arch, it's not really an arch, well, it is an arch, but it doesn't look like one in Minecraft. Uh, any any item frame, doesn't matter which type, I mean, there is only two, but yes, like that. And then if we place them like that, you've got that nice front feeling of old vehicles and how they would have them in the 1900s. And hey, as to stop building putting cakes on the thing otherwise I'll have to kick you temporarily um, so then get some acacia wood and just put them like that with the um, so the front will only be uh, th it would be along those trucks as many of the trucks were back then and well there aren't any long nose trucks in the United Kingdom anymore well or Europe in general but it used, didn't used to always be that way. Just put an andesite wall and on top of that just put one skeleton head. And then get some daylight centers and put it on top of the grill like that and just get some stone slabs like that. And then what we'll do just put, place one dark oak trap door like that and like that. And then a dark wood slab so the, the people who would be driving the truck would step up to this well, you can't actually get up, uh, like uh, on Minecraft. Uh, but yeah. Okay, just all right. If you want to do, if you want to be on the truck, be on the seat here. All right. So for the next part of the build, just get s some stone slab. Oh, I'll just clear my selection. My stone slab. Uh, mine. Uh, just some s stone slabs uh, and some stone sla slayers? stairs um, and just put them like that so it'll be two blocks behind the wheel and the dark, uh, the stone stairs is an upside down one just after the steps to the actual truck. As you can see Mr. Cake here is driving the truck which is a bit weird and never seen before in 1900s Germany or where whatever your world is based off of now put your stone okay 
Uh, okay, just right. go back to eating your cake, and then so for the basically the exact same thing on the other side. Get a block of redstone and an item frame, just place them like that at the back of the truck, and then we will need some andesite stairs. Just put. Uh, mm, wait, we'll need acacia wood, I believe. We'll just have it as acacia wood, just place it like that. Then just with your acacia stair. acacia? andesite stairs, just put them all like that, and then we can see that the. It's not completely connected, but it, it's connected enough, which is accurate, I guess, for old, well, that sort of old cars. Uh, they didn't look like they were going to survive a tumble or anything like that, particularly. And many trucks got stuck in the mud really easily during World War One. So, it's not the they weren't the best for terraining really and i mean well they moved and that was the that was the biggest thing that was the best thing about them and it was the step in the right direction because now we have cars and they actually can work very well but of course they wouldn't we wouldn't have got them without going through these which is kind of like how research and history goes so just put the uh front thing like that just you won't be I think I believe if you're gonna fit a character in there you're gonna have to remove the dark oak wood slab so you can um yeah so you can fit one in just a just a any block really and then just a steep head or something like that on top or you could use an armor stand but yeah and now we'll get on to the canvas um roof uh, i mean to be honest if you just wanted to keep it like without the canvas roof you could just put it with an andesite two andesite walls and just some polished andesite to, like, just like that or uh yeah so it doesn't look like that bad but if you you do want the canvas uh net is it a net i don't really know just get some stripped uh, birch wood and just place it like so and the same on the other side and then get some birch wood stairs and some stone sandstone wall and just place them one then the other and then it, you should have stairs on the inside and uh, on the outside of the canvas and then yeah so basically it does that pattern if it if it doesn't and you have it like that then you've done something wrong and you just need to switch them around and however if you did do if you did do it correctly just get ready to place it like that and you can get off as you get off the truck and yeah so this uh marketer's got some cake in the back and bakery guy i guess and well someone's someone's dog has clearly come and eaten something or another which isn't a good sign because it'll probably be sick uh let's get some birch signs and just put them in the middle like that not on the outside uh blocks of birch wood stairs though then trap door and just oh i'll be told some of that cake while i'm at it shall we um apologies for hey issue i have no idea what he's doing and uh, just like that and then get some birch pressure plates and just put them on like that and like like that hey juice keeps getting in the way here which isn't exactly the best idea and let me just remove this these cakes uh, so we will not have that problem and so that's it for today and I hope to bring you more videos like this where I actually get to talk to my viewers and subscribers instead of just music. So that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And if you want anything uh, like a request or anything like that, just put it in the comment section. Or you can join my Discord, which I will put 
in the link below. Alright, goodbye.